In this video, I will show you six ways to sharpen images in Photoshop. Sharpening enhances the definition of edges in an image. Keep in mind that sharpening cannot correct a severely blurred image. The first option is the basic sharpen filter. To access this filter, click filter, select sharpen, then click sharpen. This filter uses an algorithm to analyze the image before sharpening the image. It is not a controlled process. The next option is the Sharpen tool. The Sharpen tool is located in the toolbar. The Sharpen tool works like a sharpening brush. Anything you paint over will become sharper by the amount that you set. To use the Sharpen tool, select the Sharpen tool from the toolbar, then go up to the Option panel. Here you will be able to choose the brush size. You can also adjust the hardness of the brush. You can also adjust the brush strength. Check sample layer and protect details. Before I try to sharpen portions of the image, I am going to duplicate the main image layer. This way I can get back to the original image if needed. I can duplicate the layer by clicking layer, then clicking Duplicate Layer. I am going to name the layer Sharpen. Then click OK. Next, I'm going to create a new blank layer by clicking the Create Layer icon. With the new blank layer selected, I can now paint over the areas of the image I would like to sharpen. I can look at the sharpened areas of the image by turning off the visibility of the other layers by clicking the eye icon next to the layers. If I want to reduce the effect, I can reduce the opacity of the layer. Next is high pass sharpening. The high pass filter works by using a detail layer that is blended back into the original image. I want to apply the sharpening non-destructively, so I'm going to duplicate the original image layer by clicking Layer, then clicking Duplicate Layer. I am going to name the layer High Pass. Then I'm going to click OK. Next, I'm going to convert the High Pass layer to a smart object by right-clicking on the layer title, then clicking Convert to Smart Object. By converting the layer to a smart object, I can go back and adjust the filter settings if needed. Then I'm going to change the blend mode of the high pass layer to overlay. By changing the blend mode before applying the high pass filter, I will be able to see how the high pass filter is affecting the image. Now I'm going to apply the high pass filter. With the high pass layer selected, I am going to click Filter, select Other, then click High Pass. On the High Pass Filter menu, I can adjust the radius to sharpen the image. Once I'm happy with the results, I am going to click OK. You can experiment with other blend modes. Also, since the layer was converted to a smart object, it is very easy to go back in and adjust the high pass filter settings if needed. The next option is Unsharp Mask. Before using the Unsharp Mask filter, I am going to duplicate the layer by clicking Layer, then clicking Duplicate Layer. I am going to name the layer Unsharp Mask. Then I'm going to click OK. Like I did before, I want to apply the sharpening non-destructively, so I'm going to convert the layer to a smart object by right-clicking on the layer title, then clicking Convert to Smart Object. Now I'm going to apply the Unsharp Mask filter by clicking Filter, selecting Sharpen, then clicking Unsharp Mask. Once the on shop mask menu comes up, you have three options. Amount, which controls the overall strength of the mask. 
Radius controls how wide of an area between the contrasting edges is affected. The greater the radius value, the wider the edge affects and the more obvious the sharpening. Threshold will change the sharpening amount based on how tonally different adjacent pixels are to each other. Once I'm happy with the settings, I'm going to click OK to apply the unsharp mask. The next option is Smart Sharpen. This works similar to OnSharp Mask, but gives you more controls. To access the Smart Sharpen, I am going to click Filter, select Sharpen, then click Smart Sharpen. The Smart Sharpen gives options to adjust the amount, the radius, noise reduction, and remove blur options. It also gives the option to adjust the shadows and highlights. Once I am happy with the changes, I will click OK to apply the settings. The next option is using the camera raw filter. To access the camera raw filter, I am going to click filter, then click camera raw, in the Camera Raw Control tab, I am going to click the Details tab. Then I'm going to switch the view to Before and After so I can see the changes as they are applied. Under the Sharpening options, I can adjust the Amount, Radius, Details, and Masking. There's also an option for noise reduction. Once I am done with these settings, I am going to go back to the basic tab and adjust the clarity. Then I'm going to click OK to apply the settings. So that is six ways you can sharpen images using Photoshop. I hope you found this video helpful. If you are new to this channel, I would love to have you subscribe. Also, make sure to check out some of the other Photoshop tutorial videos. Thank you for watching.